Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video, I'm going to review Season 3, Episode 6 of Teen Wolf Motel California. Um, this was kind of a, um, part 2 of what happened last week, and I do think it was really cool the way they did it. It's like a part 1, part 2 episode, and this was definitely part 2, and, um, this one really was amazing. We found out so much, and so much happened. And, um, it was just really amazing. Especially the main plot. I mean, just wow. So, of course, I want to talk about the main plot. So, the episode actually started out with us, I think, in, like, the 1970s. We see this guy coming to the motel. And, um, basically, uh, he's got, like, this wolf bite near him. And, uh, he shoots himself. And then we go to the present, and we see that the... Uh, cross-country meet has been delayed, so they are all at this, uh, motel. And, um, basically, though, there's more to the motel than they think, um, because Lydia starts to, uh, hear things, and it's basically what she hears are suicide, are a, a suicide of a, um, of a couple that used to be there. And, um, Basically, what we find out is that all of these suicides have to do with werewolves. And, um, basically, Scott, Boyd, and Isaac are being targeted for this, and basically, they're the ones that are in danger. And, um, it definitely was very, very big. Um, Boyd tried to drown himself, and, um, I don't remember what Isaac tried to do, but Boyd tried to drown himself. Um, and that was really amazing. And then Isaac, I don't exactly remember what happened to Isaac, but Scott was just, his was incredible. He basically had this flare, and Scott scene, this is one of Tyler Posey's most incredible scenes he's ever done. It was just an incredible scene. He's basically, he's basically like, um, what if getting rid of this flare helps the world? What if it saves everybody who I care about? What if, um, you know, it, I really liked his speech there, but Styles basically ends up saving him from this because Styles does not want this to happen to him, so he basically saves him from this, and, um, yeah. So, then we get to the big reveal, and the big, biggest reveal is that we see that, um, the way that the demon was, um, with, was targeting, uh, Scott and Isaac and Boyd, was the whistle, and, um, Lydia goes, like, this into the whistle, and, uh, there's wolf's bang on her hands, and she realizes that they were poisoned, basically, by the wolf's bang, and, um, that was really cool, the way that happened, and then Styles throws the whistle out the window, and by the way, the coach, I don't know his name, but he was hilarious in the, the whole episode, the whole episode, he was very funny, and Styles throws his whistle out the window, and basically, uh, the cross-country meet has been canceled now, and, um, they are now heading back to the school. The biggest part of the episode that I really want to talk about, of course, has to do with, um, um, Derek and, uh, Miss Blake. Basically, everybody still thinks Derek is dead, except for Miss Blake, who's basically helping him out. And you can see that they have a connection right away, and she basically tries to help him out. And she kind of tells him how, why don't you fake your own death? And she wants him to fake his own death, and she tells him about all the stories where somebody faked their own death. Um, she points out things like Les Mis, Les Mis, Les Um, she points out A Tale of Two Cities and, uh, Romeo and Juliet, and she asks him if, if he should, if that's, and she tells him, why don't you fake your own death? And, um, basically, in the heat of the moment, they start to kiss. And, uh, then they have sex. And basically, Derek and Miss Blake are just very cute together. I'm very happy that they got a love interest for Derek because he really does deserve one. And I'm very happy that they have one. And it's definitely going to be very interesting to see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out... If anybody's going to find out about the two of them, I, I have a feeling someone's going to find out. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened with them. Uh, then we got, a, we got a little thing of Scott and Allison this episode. Not really a lot with them, but definitely we did get something. 
Uh, the, the shower scenes, uh, Scout was acting like a perv in this episode, and I think it was because he was under some sort of a, the wolf's fang spell, basically, and, um, he basically said to Allison, um, he basically was trying to seduce her, basically, and, uh, yeah, so, not a lot going on with, uh, Allison and Scott, but that was okay, because then we get to the biggest part of the episode that makes everybody's jaw drop, and, I don't know why they have this, because it really doesn't make some set any sense, but it does a little bit. The big reveal is that Gerard is still alive. And he's, he's not, like, completely alive and healthy. He's in a wheelchair and he's paralyzed, but he's alive. And basically, um, Allison's father, what's his name? Jared. Jared, I think? Um, yeah, Jared, basically, is that his name? I don't remember his name, but Allison's father basically asked Gerard for the name of the person who uh, is the uh, alpha, and he basically says Deucalion, which implies that Deucalion is not dead. And uh, are they just going to keep everyone on the show? I mean, I, I knew they couldn't let Deucalion die, so... What's going to happen now? I don't know. So, honestly, it was a really incredible episode. I didn't watch the promo because MTV, the website, some weird was going on with it. But it really was a great episode. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen. What's going to happen now that Gerard is alive? Do you think that he's going to go after Scott? Or do you think we're not going to see them him like talk to Scott till the finale? Um... What's going to happen with Derek? Is he going to fake his own death? Do you think uh, Derek is, and Miss Blake are just going to somehow start sneaking around? Do you think people are eventually going to find out about Derek? Uh, yeah. So that's it for my review. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next video. Okay, bye.